you very much. Uh, at this time, uh, first good afternoon. I'm Chuck Gouda. I'm the uh, key account manager for the Army for Source America. Uh, I, I will take just a little bit of, of your time in terms of uh, showing you what Source America has done and, uh, and what innovative steps have been taken over the last 40 years to meet our war fighters' needs uh, while deploying people with significant disabilities. Um, and that's really the human inter interaction and the human element uh, based on the previous uh, number of, of briefings that you've received today. I invite you to visit with, uh, with us. We have our, uh, a booth 2100 uh, here within this, in this facility and uh, look forward to answering any additional follow-up questions you may have. At this time, um, first of all, do I, can I see a show of hands of, in terms of who may know about the Ability One program in Source America? Okay, well good. I'm going to run through this very quickly. It'll give you a quick, a quick update on, on the program and, uh, and we'll get through this as quickly as possible. Our mission within Source America is to uh, find employment opportunities for persons with significant disabilities. Our, we are the largest employer of, pers of, of organizations within the federal government that employ persons uh, with, with significant disabilities to include our wounded warriors and disabled vets. And that, that what right now we're, we uh, employ close to uh, 2,000 wounded warriors and disabled vets within our company. We are the largest employer of persons with significant disabilities, employing between 40 and 50,000 personnel and, uh, uh, within the federal government. And that, that, that sounds like a very big number. However, there are close to 13 million people that are disabled and unemployed. So we have a long way to go. Just the background in terms of the Ability One program, back in uh, 1938, uh, President Roosevelt actually put into effect the Jacobs Wagner O'Day Act, which was primarily focused on national industries for the blind. This timeline shows you that uh, shows you that timeline from 1938 going through the JWAT program, and then you see in, in 1974, the National Industries for the Severely Handicapped came into being. That is uh, our organization, and, uh, the, and the, the JWAD program uh, became the Ability One program in 2007, and then as you see in 2013, we became Source America. So, uh, the, one of our sister organizations, National Industries for the Blind, is, is, uh, is in place. You may have heard of the Skillcraft pen uh, or the Skillcraft uh, copyright. Uh, they're actually here also. Uh, but, the, uh, but we are, again, formally known as National Industries for the Severely Handicapped, currently Source America. This gives you a, a, a relationship in terms of how we, we acquire those, those jobs for our persons with significant disabilities. We have uh, federal agencies, the federal customers, uh, our, our contracting uh, personnel, and then uh, we have close to 1,200 nonprofit uh, companies that are scattered throughout each of our U United States and then also any U.S. territories. We can reach them to include Puerto Rico and Guam. The, the Ability One Commission is a, is a commission that's appointed by uh, the President of the United States. You can see the organizations that are represented here, uh, and you see National Industries for the Blind and Source America on the bottom of the chart. But there are 15 individuals that are appointed by the President who vote uh, on, these, uh, on each of these opportunities. This is a, 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 just a quick a quick review of the individuals that are currently uh, appointed by the president and Mr. Harry Halleck is the current uh, appointee representing the Army and he's the uh, current DASA P. 
This just gives a quick breakdown in terms of our largest customers within, uh, within Source America. And as you can see, the, the Army leads the way with uh, over $600 million per year that is, uh, is set aside in terms of uh, obligations supporting the personnel with significant disabilities. This is a breakdown of where we're located. This is a very important slide. Uh, when, when individuals are looking for where we're located within, within the, United, the CONUS United States, uh, we have, of those 550, 550 companies are actually in, are, are performing those contracts for those obligated funds. And they're, a re for example, the, uh, uh, a Goodwill, Goodwill Industries, there's normally a rehabilitation program associated with each of them. Right here in Huntsville, Phoenix Industries is another company that, that uh, is currently doing base-wide uh, custodial and grounds maintenance uh, at Redstone. Again, what, what we do in terms of our innovation uh, is, uh, is focusing on, again, taking individuals with, with disability and turning them into taxpayers uh, and, and really part of the team and then uh, and continuing to move on and, um, versus them being entitlement takers. In terms of, uh, this is the innovative piece of, of my briefing. Uh, you can see the the the, the current uh, the current services that are being provided. The ones that are highlighted in red are the ones that we initially started with, and again, that's grounds maintenance, custodial, and 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 uh, food service. Since that time, we now have 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 come a long way uh, in and have begun participating. I, I want to highlight the total facilities management. We, uh, for example, currently do the entire DPW, Directorate of Public Works, for Fort Bliss, for Fort Knox, Kentucky, for Fort Rucker, and, uh, and for Fort Bliss, for example, that's a $60 million per year uh, contract. Uh, there are others. Uh, our medical, medical environmental services is also a, a large facility uh, opportunity that we do, 11 Army hospitals uh, that we do the custodial for. And again, the, the bar in terms of custodial uh, support and services is, is, uh, is pretty high, and we're doing that very, very well. These are some of the products. Uh, every uniform that you see uh, has been sewn by individuals uh, within Source America. We work very closely with NADIC and with uh, the command sergeants major within the Army who, who actually vote. Uh, they just within the last year, we have a new uh, a new type of uniform that came out. Well, our people are on top of that. Uh, also, uh, in, in reference to to Huntsville, I, I go back to, uh, to to Phoenix Industries. They're actually one of the companies, one of our three companies that sew internment flags for the VA. One of the largest new innovations that we've done is is called Cycle Point. And we're actually putting together, uh, and this is on the commercial side of the, of the fence, not under the Ability One program, but they actually do e-recycling of all electronics uh, uh, equipment. There are actually 53 non nonprofit organizations that are currently performing and teaming to, to uh, to perform this mission, number one. And then number two, there are over 83 different operations and, and sites that they, that they man to receive and, and, uh, and not only accept and deliver, and then there's three different tiers of, of performance that actually is taking place. So it's a very, very exciting uh, new initiative that we have um, that has just begun over the last two and a half years. This gives you a, a map of where we're actually located within, within the, uh, the cycle point uh, snapshot. And subject to your questions, that, uh, that completes my briefing. Uh, briefing. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to have, this, uh, have this opportunity to, to share some of the innovative pieces that we're doing with Source America and the Ability One program. Thank you, sir. And, and just a reminder, this will be uh, on the YouTube channel, and please have, you know, reference it as often and 
as you want to get, you know, your message will come across. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. Appreciate it very much, Bill. Right.